I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, where we cover all things real estate, design, and things to do in and around Austin. We are here at Round Top, and now we're headed to get some finds for two projects we're working on. Let's go. First stop on the Round Top journey today is for the California project for my dear and sweet client and friend, and we are in the process of getting all of her new furniture delivered. And the thing is, is that she wants this home to feel rustic, and right now she's getting all the modern pieces. So I want to soothe her and bring her some comfort by finding her a amazing light fixture to hang in her bedroom. So I know just the place we're going. We're headed to the compound to see the farm and factory guys. These guys are true artisans. They are a family owned business. The dad and the son create all of the light fixtures and they have this warehouse filled with these gears and these molds that we just fell in love with for my personal residence, which we turned into a mirror at the end of my hallway. I have a vision for what needs to happen in Amanda's bedroom. She has this modern rounded sofa and I'm seeing this worn kind of farmhouse board with light bulbs hanging off of it. So let's go find it right now. They also make these custom gear pieces out of metal. So I'm seeing that for possibly behind her bed and a few other smaller gear pieces. Now, I know that they usually take them and make mirrors out of them, but I'm seeing them more in their rustic form. What's amazing about these guys is that they can customize whatever the vision is. So I love creating the vision and have the hands that can make it happen. So one thing we learned on this trip, which every trip to Round Top is a learning experience, is that the shipments come in before the week starts. So actually, if you get here early and you go to the local shops that exist annually, you can find pieces before the crowds hit the town. Do you have any smaller ones like this? So Okay. I did have seven at the beginning of the show. Next up is the Parsons House in Dripping Springs. Now the goal is here. They love modern kind of minimalism. However, their passion, and if you have been on this channel before, you know we're all about intentional design. So it's kind of like the idea that your home should bring out the best in you, your best memories, or your future plans. So they've traveled to the south of France many times, and they have a true, true love for it. My mission is to find pieces that feel or have the essence of the south of France. Here we are at Excess, where there's all these different vendors. I know that I'm gonna find something great here for the Parsons. Look at this amazing space. Oh my gosh, these guys are from Amsterdam. They're called More Than Antiques. I love these hands, oh my gosh. They have two little ones and for some reason, it makes me think of kids in a classroom raising their hand. It also makes me feel like you're kind of standing up for yourself to be your best self. And I just see them right in their living room next to their TV where you would usually put like a vase with flowers in it. I'm looking for two items to put on the side of their French doors in the master bedrooms. It needs to take up space, so it could be two planters with trees or something. And oh my gosh, look at these tins. These could be just perfect. Centerpieces on a table can be so powerful and even in their minimalism and just when they're a simple, beautiful bowl. Look at these magnificent hand-carved bowls that will be such a statement piece on their dining table. One of the challenges that I found was that the light fixture was so big over the table that it felt like the table needed to have something powerful on it to bring the table in line with the very long chandelier. So these bowls are just perfect. So one of the other goals I have is to encase the space in the kitchen nook eating area. I want to find a couple of art pieces that feel French and kind of bring the space all together. Well, this little spot is just amazing because it has these kind of like old looking church windows. So it's just perfect in that seating nook to really finish off that space. 
So we have Molly here, our Voxy partner, who we are working on an app. So like every video you watch here, you will be able to click on this app and buy the items that are in the video. Well, most of them anyway. Anyway, she is here and she's kind of looking for something for her new fixer that she just bought. And man, look at these horns she found. The only problem is she can't fit them in her suitcase. But guess what? Her flight was delayed that day and because of it, she did not have to pay extra to bring those horns on the plane. Woo! Now that's what we call evening out the scales. Okay, here we are at Recycling the Past. This guy has a location called the Round Top Ballroom at Recycling the Past. He also has a location in New York, if you can believe it, and they are an architectural salvage store. He also owns Flop House, which is a shipping container hotel at Round Top. Come, stay, chill is their motto. This bowl that looks like a shell is actually a hand-carved teak bowl. Just incredible. It's gonna be perfect in that kitchen nook as a centerpiece. The thing that I really love about Round Top is there's so many different items and really what makes a home feel lived in and super special, in my opinion, when you're not going for full-on minimalism, is lots and lots of texture. No better place for texture than Round Top. So one of the things is that when you're designing a space, it's like you have it all in your mind, but then it's so different when you bring it into this space and you either feel like, yes, I won, or you feel like, ooh, I kind of maybe didn't hit the mark exactly. Fortunately today, I'm feeling like, yes, I won. One of my fears was that I was going too tone on tone with all the pieces but I had faith in the textural elements really bringing it all together. And I am so pleased with how it turned out because it is a lot of tone on tone. So when you're laying it all out and you're looking at it this way, it can be a little scary, but put it on that wall and wow, it just makes such a statement. I couldn't be happier. What I'm really loving about the master bedroom space is how the wallpaper, which is super subtle, and then the kind of textural like French uh, patterning on the rug marries so well with the tins side by side on each side of the French doors. So when it comes to mixing the old and the new, there is no better place to find your special pieces than at Round Top. So we want to hear from you. What were your favorite pieces or spots or places in the home that we found for this video? Leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe because we have videos coming out every single week. We'll see you soon, bye.